Okay, everyone. I haven't seen this yet, but... I want to do a spoiler trailer, like, reacting to the trailer of the new Welsh Ponies. I tried to do a video of the, all of their gates and that, but I guess we're just going to see them in this video because my phone kind of glitched. And it didn't want to work at all, no matter what I did. So we're just going to skip that part this time. Maybe for the next horses that will be released, I will do a video. Hopefully it won't glitch like this one did um, for the Welsh Ponies. So let's get into the video. Alright, so, here's the Welsh Pony. I have to sneeze, so I'll be right back. I'm going to take an allergy medicine, too. Okay, I decided to not take an allergy medicine. It's probably just, yeah. Oh, anyway, um, meet the Gen 3 Welsh Pony, Star Stable Horses. Alright, so we're going to react to it, and let's get these people out of the way. My messenger is working now, so... If you have any inquiries about a sticker, please PM me on uh, my page at Karma the GSD. Also, DM me on Instagram at Karma underscore the underscore GSD. Let's get into the video now. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. I love them. They're so cute. I'm definitely going to try to get all of them. I know I'm not going to have enough to get all of them, but there will be a video of me buying some of them. It's kind of sad to see the older ones leave, like, the herd that runs, like, the NPCs. They're going to be updated to these, and it's really going to be sad to see that because... We have so many memories of running with them. But yeah, I really like these. Oh, oh gosh. Um. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hang on. Okay. So, now you guys are going to watch it without me. And tell me what you guys think in the comments. And we'll go from there. Tell me which ones I should get, because I don't know which ones to get. I really, really want the black one, which I'm going to probably get that one. And I may get this one right here. And that one right here. Like, oh my god. Sorry. Um, these two right here, and probably this one right here. And then the other, like, this one, this one, and that one. I'll get, like, later on down the road, you know, like, this is, like, if I, like, get star coins or something like that randomly, then I'll just get the rest. Anyway, kind of like I did with the Icelandics. Anyway, let's get into this now without me, and, um, sorry, oh my gosh, I, I'm gonna take an allergy medicine, too, there in a minute. Anyway, I'll see you guys once this video is over. Alright, I'm back. I'm sorry for the sniffly nose. Now we're going to read the description of the Wash Pony. I really, really, really am excited. I just don't seem excited, but I really am. I love them. For thousands of years, Wales has been home to the beloved Welsh Pony. The breed was shaped by the land and the people developing into a hardy and durable Durable pony that thrived in tough conditions. I was going to say something else. Wow. The pony that thrived in 
tough conditions. Some have survived as wild herds dating back countless generations. Other worked alongside farmers while, while oh my gosh, go away. Um, dating back countless generations. Others worked alongside farmers while others still were pampered by royalty. By the Middle Ages, the breed was established as a strong and speedy pony, just as suited, as suited for pulling a plow as it was charging into battle and came into variety of sizes. It wasn't until the nine, 1900s that they were formally divided into sections in stud books based on height and build. Rumors, Rumor has it the wild Welsh ponies of South Hoof were originally owned by the Winterwell family, forgotten and left to roam free. This suited them fine, the ponies flourishing on the peninsula, but their adaptability meant many European Europeans had oh my God, sorry, had a Welsh pony companion perfectly suited for work, war, and Jayla, seriously, can you wait till I'm done recording? Go over there, please. Thank you. Uh, where was I? Um, Yorvix. Gosh, go over there. Please. I have to do my nose really quick. Oh my goodness. Hang on a second. Okay. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, where was I? Go away, please. Oh, yeah. They are quick learners, taking to any discipline they are trained in. With the classic friendly pony personality, they are just as... Oh, my gosh. Go over there. Oh, my goodness. Jerry Bear, what do you want? They are quick learners, taking to any discipline they are trained in. With the classic friendly pony personality, they are just as varied in their coats. Coming in all solid colors, this Welsh pony is the riding type or section B and is the lightest of the Welsh pony types. Though more refined, they have not lost their mountain pony heritage and are still as... I don't know how to say that. Oh my gosh. If someone told me how to say it. Like in like person, I could say it, but I, I don't know. Anyway. And ready to gallop over any terrain. All they need is a friend to travel with who can keep up with their stamina. Alright, spoiler alert. Where can I get this horse? South of Peninsula. Boo the Hermit. Buy the Hermit, I'm guessing. <laughs> How much is it? 800 star coins. What level do I need to need to be to get one? Level seven, and you need to reach reputation level friendly with the hermit on South Hill Peninsula in order to get one, or two, or three, or four, or oh my gosh, or four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight. Uh, how many cocos are there anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, well, there's there's quite a bit. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, whatever, you know. Um, stay tuned for me buying these horses because I sure am buying <coughs> as many as I can. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, and I love you all. Later.